Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. I, uh, I'm working on a little project here. Now, I, I said after the uh, folded dipole experiment um, that I wasn't going to do antenna videos for a little bit uh, while on Facebook. But then these arrived in the mail. These are FT140-43. These are the type of toroid that are supposed to be much better for doing HF um, balans, ununs, and such. They're denser than the Type 2s, um, for sure, much heavier uh, of toroids of the same size. These are definitely heavier. Uh, and I, I think it's a, uh, a tighter packed um, core, or almost solid, probably creates better magnetic, more uniform magnetic fields than the uh, lighter powdered core types. So, what am I doing? Well, the folded dipole that I made for 20 meters that I used for the testing um, is here. And uh, that is the 4 to 1 that I wound using the Type 2 cores that I had on hand, which I have used uh, with a lot of antenna projects in the past. And I've seen in some commercials um, products. Uh, and it works. I mean, I, I swept it with the VNA and, you know, it. I, I got pretty much close to 50 ohms across the entire band. I might still have that that uh, scan that I can throw up here on the screen. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the antenna itself, its performance was not quite as good as the uh, old standard half-wave dipole fed directly at the center. So, what I have done is I have wound a new 4 to 1 using the Type 43s. Uh, I've yet to strip and solder the wires up. Um, but I am going to set this up and I'm going to scan it with the VNA. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one off of here, off the antenna. Um, so I'll have the, the Type 2 and then the Type 43 4 to 1s. And uh, I have a carbon resistor here that is red, black, brown, gold. That should be 200 ohms. And indeed, if we get the meter out and we put our uh, probes on the on the resistor, 201 ohms. Okay, so that's about as close as to uh, oops to 200 as you could want to get. So I've got that, and I'm going to uh, solder a couple of alligator clips onto the leads of that resistor so I can clip them onto the output of the ballin. And then I've got a BNC uh, panel mount connector that I'll solder to the uh, out, or input side so that I can hook up the mini VNA. And we'll do that with both the uh, Type 2 core version and the Type 43. And then we'll scan them and we'll see how they, uh, how they compare across the HF spectrum as far as our uh, impedance transformation. Does it take it right down to 50 ohms all the way across the spectrum? And, you know, how does, it, how does it look compared to the Type 2 cores? After I'm done doing that, uh, I will probably put this on the antenna. And uh, we'll put the antenna back up. And I might do another comparison, only this time the antennas will both be in inverted V configurations. They'll both be oriented the same way. One of them will be on the ground when I'm testing the other one, and vice versa, so that the uh, one that's not being tested won't interfere with the other one, because it'll be on the ground. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do it again, now that I've got these cores. And if these are, um, are markedly better uh, for HF, I got some extras. I got three extra cores here. I'll probably wind a 9 to 1 um, and replace the uh, 9 to 1 that I have in my external box now that I use for my antennas. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm up to. All right, I'm going to get this uh, get this wired up, get the resistor wired up, get the connector all connected, and get the VNA out. And uh, we'll do some comparison scans between the Type 43 cores and 
the Type 2 cores. Okay, what I have hooked up now, this is the old Type 2 cores. I've got the 200 ohm resistor clipped onto the output. I got the VNA hooked onto it, and I've got the VNA software running over here. And I am going to scan it across the HF spectrum. So I've got the VNA software running over here. And I'm going to tell it to scan the entire HF spectrum, which is from uh, 1 to 33 megahertz. And uh, let's see what we see. Okay, there is the Type 2 cores. Now the yellow, I'm going to snapshot this screen. Okay, and we'll put it up on your screen. All right. So the yellow trace is the SWR. The cyan trace is um, impedance or Z. And uh, as we can see, our impedance starts out a little low and comes up to close to 50 ohms around four megahertz. Rises a little bit above 50 ohms, continues a very slow rise all the way up to 33 megahertz where it's at uh, around uh, 50, 60 ohms, somewhere close to 60. Okay. The SWR doesn't come down below 1.5 to 1 until we reach 8 megahertz. And uh, yeah, so not great performance on the lower bands. We are translating the impedance properly. Um, the 200 ohms, we're getting down to 50 ohms by the time we get to about uh, five and a half megahertz or so. So that's the type two cores. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna hook up the uh, type 43 cores and we will scan it again. All right, now I have the type 43 cores, four to one ballon hooked up, resistor, 200 ohm resistor clipped on. And we're going to run the scan again on the full HF spectrum, and we'll see if it looks any different. Yes, it's quite a bit different. Um, okay, these cores definitely perform better at the lower frequencies. Uh, let me snapshot this screen for you. And we'll put it up on your screen now. As we can see, all the way down from the bottom of the spectrum, the uh, impedance is translated to 50 ohms almost right away, down just about to one megahertz. Uh, the SWR is uh, almost one to one at the bottom of the band. So these are definitely working much better at the lower frequencies. Uh, we see a gradual rise of the SWR up to just over 1.5 to one at 33 megahertz. And the uh, translated impedance looks like it rises to uh, somewhere around, let's see, that would be 50, uh, somewhere close to 70 ohms at the top of the band. So, you know, that's fine. That's close enough. Um, these are working better. <laughs> these are working a lot better. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these on the folded dipole and uh, do another round of... Uh, comparisons between the two. We'll make that a separate video. Um, if they perform as much better as I expect that they probably are going to, uh, then yeah, we're going to use type 43 cores from now on. So it certainly looks like the type 43 is a much better core uh, type to be using for HF balance uh, and ununs. So uh, hey, that's a good... Uh, that's a good experiment right there. Uh, I'm sure this information's out there. Lots of people have recommended these core types, um, and uh, I appreciate that, of course. Um, but, uh, you know, I like to do things uh, in the real world and just see how they are. So there you go. Type 43 is the way to go if you're going to wind uh, balance or ununs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.